Test. Are we live? Okay. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentle butts. I didn't say that. Uh, what kind of Roman uh, real estate diaries? Something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I also wanted to document uh, the process, uh, kind of my journey in real estate, but I really wanted to give you guys a no BS what I feel uh, that you may not know, which is a presumptuous statement by me, uh, but uh, basically meaning uh, the things and items that you'd care about and would bring you value. So um, transaction number two and three, I think will be more interesting to uh, investors being my investor uh, client, um, one of two, two whom I, which I worked with, we'll get into that uh, more. Not sure if I want to go to the video, right, etc. I really want to dabble into voice as well. And I know we're starting to use audio a lot more. So use this as a channel as well and dabble. But let's get to it. So all my clients' names will be changed to protect the innocent. I always wanted to say that. Um, but I will call them Jack and Jill. But Jack and Jill, I think, is a, a, a perfect uh, example. We're talking in the Bay Area, for those of you who don't know, San Jose, California. I have the opportunity to serve... Um, I have someone from my uh, SOI who is very close to me, known him since middle school, seventh grade, star athlete. Fast forward, uh, he has a um, beautiful little kiddo. H himself and his fiance have two kiddos. Uh, his quick story he's in Fremont working his way up at a beverage company. Um, she's at Google, uh, focusing a little on the, the medical sector. Long behold, for all of you that know that how hard it is to really purchase a home. Uh, in this scenario, they're renting in uh, South San Jose. So we have to be patient. Um, you know, some people, everyone's motivation is different. Uh, but this was kind of a, a journey where, you know, they really got educated, asked great questions and decided that, you know, they weren't ready only to come back quite a few months later, you know, um, saying that they were ready when we checked in with them. And the most interesting note and key value factors that I want to get into because there's so much we can talk about for the first time, home buyer and the whole process. Uh, I won't get too detailed into that. Um, Number one, you know, they were in a situation even with their two jobs um, that, you know, I mentioned working hard, doing everything. They were still, like most um, people in our area, probably fall into the pre approval range of about, let's just say, $600,000 to $900,000, uh, even them being close to my age uh, of 30. What that puts them at in San Jose is basically they can afford nothing. So they're about looking at ownership, you know, in condos ownership here and there, Fremont area. And I think the greatest lesson to be learned in this one was um, my client, um, fiance, actually mentioned, well, Roman, what do you think about Hollister? And I think that was a great lesson of really trying to understand one of my mentors told me is that battle when you're in the client service business between your personal opinion and your professional opinion, and we shouldn't get too into the uh, personal opinion. Not meaning, of course, I'm all about integrity and maybe uh, too honest uh, at times, but um, it's very important that uh, you know when you know that your client does understand everything you tell them about, say Hollister, or your bias, prejudice, or your personal uh, opinions. If they still want Hollister, give them Hollister. If they say jump, you say how high. So at first. Um, I was so close to this client that I almost didn't want it just based on running uh, one of the first subway drive throughs in Gilroy and seeing some of, uh, you know, the crowd that would come from Hollister, but that was completely wrong of me to judge, obviously, an entire town with it. So um, I'm humble enough to say I took that one on the chin. But fast forward, I'm at one of my recent brokerage offices, um, a veteran, 30-year Evergreen San Jose area broker of record. He knows who he is, starts talking to me about what I feel is very cool about why we should stay involved. And um, it can really pay off to know and begin to see things uh, three years or two years ahead, or literally what you don't know is what you don't know if you know about a future project that's for sure going to be developed in that area. To that common man, that area might seem bad right now, but knowing its future, if you can get a step ahead and be there first, it can be very profitable. So uh, they continue to put, 
push Hollister, and they said they didn't mind that, uh, making that move, even with their commute. I fast forward back to my, my broker of record. He mentions a story to me um, about Hollister, and he's sharing with us that there is a huge uptake. We're in June 2018 right now. Um, obviously, affordable housing is ringing like a bell. We can't build homes quick enough. Uh, inventory is very low. So in Hollister, we see a huge increase in builders and new builders beginning to register and, and buy up land. And what the reality is, is right now Google, Apple, two largest jobs and will continue to be with new campuses being built a huge um, job area and influx. Um, and when these people move here and accept these jobs, HR really has to help them just find housing. And obviously, people are finding a huge problem uh, with that and being able to find housing in this uh, area. And you know, Google and Apple is going to want to be realistic in their finance department to make sure uh, you know they can't give six figures to everybody, but at the same time, they want their employees to be able to find housing. So solution in their minds, working with uh, builders like uh, Hollister and really working hand in hand with them um, and you'll start to see more and more of your big buses royal coach tours type with wi-fi uh, and the plan is to actually you know recommend to these builders uh, hollister and especially with my client um, although the commute may seem far but if she's got wi-fi if she's got things like daycare taken care of and she's not to worry about gas which has been confirmed is the future for that area by the way um she's all about it so that would be the plan so i immediately zoned in my focus um on Hollister, uh, not for everyone. I think it worked out perfect for them. Uh, one thing to be careful of, uh, guys, is HOAs. Even you know, my, I don't think my sister minds me bringing her up. But for typical KB home, she's in um, Sacramento. I don't think people fully wrap their heads around HOAs, and why some people don't like it in general is. I think there's a huge uh, buyer's remorse and emotional factor that comes later just because someone telling you to move your satellite on the left side of your house, you got to put it on the, the right side of your house because of HOA rules and getting notices from uh, your neighbors and other people on your walls. That can really affect a person. So I really want you to think about HOAs and take them seriously. They're going to be more and more common with new bills. Um, so what we did... Uh, you know, now that we have the pre-approval process far behind us already and work closely with the lender, double check that these were for this client situation, FHA approved um, new builds and it's pretty flawless. The process is pretty automated. There's much more risk when you're buying an existing uh, home, in my opinion, uh, but it, it was a great experience. I was able to rack up, you know, appointment times, show them model homes, and they were going so quick. We settled on um, a beautiful, beautiful lot that was uh, nearly done. That's another thing you got to be careful of. They are renting, so it's not a big deal uh, to them. Um, and they can work out their lease if you're, if you're selling your home. It gets a little more complicated in order to move into this Hollister home because you have to be careful with new bills that you time things correctly. And sometimes there's things even the builders can't control. And um, you've got situations where, you, you know, your home's not ready and you're kind of stuck in the middle. And we don't want you in the hotel or on the street. So that's um, another thing to know. But all in all, a, a great story that was already taken care of but is actually going to really uh, bear the fruit. Um uh, in a few weeks in this uh, July, they've been stopping by, checking out their home in Hollister. They're very happy with it. They were able to get a huge custom home that they called their own. And um, like I said, pretty flawless with the builder's process, but I would still recommend you take your agent uh, with you. Uh, find me a new construction home in San Jose. Let me go ahead in June 2018, give you that favor. You'll minimum see majority of homes, you know, a minimum of 17 to 20 years uh, old. So uh, it's really gold and really dime a dozen. And I know since we actually opened escrow, my client informed me that, you know, the amount of equity that has been built since then, those few months have been incredible. So this is Roman uh, of Roman Real Estate Group, Real Estate Diaries. Looking forward to talking about the multi-units in uh uh, transaction number two uh, and a uh, huge uh, lot uh, and land development and kind of the ins and outs of that in transaction number three. So this is transaction number one. Hope you guys enjoy it. Give me some feedback. If you do, I'll try to do some more. But that was a quick synopsis of uh, you know my first uh, 
you know, clients that I've had the honor and pleasure to helping and um, it was great. I cannot wait to uh, see them and I'm sure we'll have a testimonial up uh, in their new home um, and educating through the process. It, it was priceless. It's why I love what I do and I love you guys and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. This is me signing out. Transaction number one, Roman Real Estate Diaries of Roman Real Estate Group. Take care, guys.